one one thought that occurred to me was that um i know i i thought that the channel was just about my studio but it's turning out that the house is uh turning out to be just as much of an art project as the studio so and then there's some things when i fix things that uh just end up turning into i won't say art but you know in that in that realm one of the my favorite parts about the house is uh, this bathroom that we made uh, uh, this was a violin school for children, so two of the child-sized bathrooms we we um, combined. Behind me, you can see uh, where the where the wall once was. It divided the two sections of the bathroom. Um, so we took out the wall, and then there was this five-inch piece that was sticking out from the wall, and I was wondering how I was going to be able to make it look good. And, one of the solutions this turned out to be really kind of one of my favorites. So basically it's just a, a pipe covering, but I, I mitered the corners so that, that that line that you see down there is actually 45 degrees, two pieces of wood meeting each other at 45 degrees. And at the base, you can see it actually turned out really quite well too, because I just made uh, um, some miters and moldings and stuff around the base. Other details include this uh, molding where I, I didn't really, I had to cap off this door. On the left you can see the molding sticking out um, a few inches and we brought the shiplap for the shower, um, sort of boat paint that we used on the shiplap, it's actually kind of cool, and brought it in and made sort of an abstract composition there, uh, which I keep looking at. So thought it was pretty cool. And of course, the last thing and probably my most favorite is the floor. Um, when we moved in, a lot of the oak flooring that they used uh, was either damaged because of a faulty steam system or it just got wet. Uh, a lot of pieces they left outside. So I just decided to make a floor uh, out of all the old pieces. And uh, you can see here, the black ones are the pieces that were probably left outside the most. And then there were some that were slightly brownish, but still from the outside, but some were worse than others. And then I decided to make the all one level. You can see here, there's no threshold, which is kind of cool. And then the other thing that's really neat is the little dots. They, they had them in the original flooring to cover up screws, and I just decided to not fight it. And make dots pretty much all over the place. The um, blonde cut, the really blonde colored oak, was actually wood that I bought at a local hardware store, so it's new. And I just pieced that in. There's another new piece right here. So, yep, that's the floor. And every time I come in here, it just offers something else.